What is up everybody? In this video we are taking a look at these, the brand new A6 GT2000 version 10. What's up everybody and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, are you a mild stability shoe wearer? Let us know in the comments, where do you go to if you need some mild stability? Now, if you haven't seen it, check out my video where I went along to ASICS in London and I came away with these, which was the ASICS GT2000 version nine. Now I've got fitted out in those, um, I've done a load of gait analysis and stuff. There's loads of information in that video, so check that out. But they've come out with a new version, version 10. They've made some changes to it, which are kind of interesting. But are they any good? Is it the same? Is it better than the Kayano? All that kind of stuff. In this video, I'm going to help you out. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so they made some changes uh, to the shoe, some updates, I would say. Uh, the shoe is 120 pounds. We've got uh, flight foam in the midsole still. We've got, where is it? Uh, I wrote some of this down. We've got rear foot gel. It's an ASICS after all. Eight mil drop. We've got the light truss uh, system. I'll show you that in a minute. And then we've got this engineered mesh upper. It is very similar looking, I would say, um, to the other version. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. But the biggest sort of change, I would say, is the amount of gel they've shoved in the heel. But also, if you look on the medial side, they've gone for this light truss system. Now, it's not gonna show out on the camera, but this is where the medial support is. Basically, They've got rid of the trussic system in here. They've gone for this light truss system, um, which is um, wicked little technology they've uh, put together to create the stability in the shoe, with, along with the uh, medial posting to a degree. It's a lot harder here on the inside um, of the shoe versus the outside where you've got the gel. So it acts as that sort of, uh, yeah, like bowling alley. You know, when you put them up for the kids, it just holds you and supports you. But you've got the gel to act uh, to aid in terms of the cushioning and support um, uh, and the cushioning and the feedback of the shoe so it's not just like a hard bit of foam. Um, we've got ASICS grip, AHA, uh, ASICS grip, we've got AHA, AHA, AHA plus on the outside, we've also got some gel shoved in the front. Uh, the new upper I would say is an improvement over the shoe. Um, they've also played around with the flex grooves on it, see that? where they've uh, changed the flex grooves on it. Um, they've also added, look here, if you look again on the medial side, they've added a lot of heavy duty rubber compared to where they've got the trussic system on there, which is all about the rigidity. So they've, they've mucked about with the system, but has it made it any better or has it made it any worse? Okay, my biggest complaint about this shoe was how hard it felt. It can, it, I did a 20, I think it was a 20 mile uh, run, check out, I did a video about this. I think it was a 20 mile run. Um, and it was a little bit firm and it was a little bit unresponsive. This shoe feels a, a better blend of cushioning and stability. Uh, I would say it is a nicer feel than this, um, although it's not out and out cushioning like a Kayano 28, but the changes they've made to it are, are a big improvement. Uh, and I think it was needed. They seem to have softened it up a little bit, which is one of the, say, the biggest complaints of the uh, previous version. And that's made the ride, I say, a little bit more, um, exciting is the wrong word, but a little bit more fun. Probably not fun. This is the problem with these stability shoes, right? They're just not fun. But in fairness to ASICs, they have made improvements over version nine. So, um, what's the best? I said before, personally, I would go out and get the Kayano over this, over the, sorry, the nine. I still think that's the case with this shoe. The Kayano is a strong stability shoe. This is mild stability. So if you're sort of in between, then yes, this is definitely something to look at. It's not gonna set your pulses racing. It's not gonna, um, you know, get you out there smashing the life out of your PBs. But that said, it will do you just fine if you if you are in need of some form of stability. It is definitely an improvement over nine, and I think that's the critical point that I, I wanna try and get. They have, I think, tuned it up better. Um, you know this thing is gonna last for like six million years because it's got the AHA Plus rubber on it, um, and it's gonna do everything that you need to do, although it might not do it in the most exciting way. So yeah, there you go, people. ASICS GT2000 version 10. It's definitely an improvement over version nine, but yeah, it's just a little bit boring. 
Thank you.